fat kiddo, fat, fat kiddo. Welcome back everyone, Coach K here. I'm gonna teach you how to use my Ether wallet and how to create a, a paper wallet uh, using my Ether wallet. All right, so let's get us started right away. So if you go to myetherwallet.com, this is what's gonna come up and it's kind of confusing. It's like, what is this? So come and follow me along, open up on your screen and actually kind of follow and you'll understand how to do these things. So first thing it's gonna ask you is to make a wallet. So make a key. Um, Mine's using a suggested password. I'm just going to make a, a password that's generic because I am not going to use this wallet ever. Um, create the key, the wallet. Now it's going to ask you to download a JSON file, which is basically a backup. So click on that and definitely keep that and don't share it and put it on a USB and somewhere in a safe deposit box or in another place somewhere else. That's very safe and secure. Okay. Understand you continue. You're then gonna have your private key. So this would be my private key if I was gonna use this wallet. You never, ever, 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 and I mean never, ever, ever share your private key with anybody. Don't ever do it. Even if someone asks you and they tell you that they're a bank or whatever, don't ever do it. Because uh, your private key is yours and yours alone. And I don't want anyone ever scamming you. And that's basically what will happen, okay? So be very careful of that. Um, and then print this paper wallet out this is what it looks like it keeps your private key your address it will let you print it out uh very easily and uh, it has uh obviously a qr code and your address all that kind of stuff is all in there okay now uh when you print this out you need to keep it more extremely safe because if someone gets this information you will easily be hacked or not even hacked they'll just take your your funds so this has to be something that you keep like a bank it's like you have to put it in the bank or in a safe deposit box or something. If you have a lot of crypto, you would definitely want to do that. Okay, so um, make sure that if you're using my Ether wallet, it's probably on a Trezor. Um, and if you use uh, this kind of a backup for it, make sure that you put it somewhere safe in more than one location, like I always tell you guys. Okay, so you'd print that out and you'd keep it. And that's basically how to make a paper wallet with my Ether wallet. Now, you can save your address and then eventually you can then put your private key in here if you ever lose uh, and like that's what i'm saying your paper wallet you click on there and you put it in and it will actually open up your wallet great what else can my ether wallet do you can uh, use it to send tokens to people so if you have metamask like i've shown you in another video you can connect to metamask and then you can choose whatever coins you have now if you don't have other coins it won't show but if you do um it will show all the different tokens and you can load up all the tokens that you have on here and then once they're loaded up you can then choose them and send them if you had coins like if i had any of these ones they would actually let me send to someone else's eth address and it only has to be your ether address okay which is pretty cool because um, you can send any ETH token to any Ethereum address. So if you wanted to send other tokens, you'd load them in here and then you would choose them and send them to someone else's ETH address and it will always see those tokens, okay? So you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, if you send certain tokens, it's fine, you can send them. And if you're gonna send it to exchanges though, that's different, you use that exchange wallet address. You have to be very careful. Um, if you're sending it wallet to wallet, that are um, not exchanges, it's fine. But if you're sending it to an exchange wallet, you need to go to that basic attention token wallet and send it to that. If you're using Exit, it's the same thing. Um, and so be very careful. Uh, but if you're gonna send it to your Mew, it's absolutely fine to send it to your ETH address. So just keep that in mind. All right, <clears throat> what else you can do is swap tokens. So if I have ETH and I want Bitcoin, if I want, uh, you know, if I want, have, have power and I want to switch it up with ETH, I can do that too. And there's lots of options for me to do these things. So that's another cool uh, thing that you can do. Um, you can send actual crypto offline, which is pretty cool. So these are good generator transaction. You're never going to probably use that uh, because you probably it's probably too difficult. So don't worry about that. I'm just showing you. Uh, ENS is cool. So let's say you want your own um, ETH address like this instead of having these long weird ones, right? You can actually do that. So I could actually do like Joel Kovshoff dot ETH. I can, I can check to see if it's there um and uh it's not showing up so i can't use that one but that's the thing you can actually create one i can do like coughshoff.eth i think i've actually created one before i don't even remember which address it is actually um limited punctuation i don't know anyways oh that's why i'm silly it already has .eth. <laughs> so i can do coughshoff.eth check the name it's available and then i can actually create one 
I can actually make my ETH address. So you want to send it to me, my, my MU? It's just coughshop.eth. I tell people that and they put it in there in the MU and that's how they send it to me. So that's another cool thing that you can do. Um, don't worry about the domain sale. Uh, check TX is like if you've had a transaction, you can put this in here and find it on the blockchain. Um, and then uh, that's pretty much it. You don't really need to know any, any more than that. The main pieces of information are that you have a new wallet. You can create it. Keep the private key. Um, you can you can connect to different devices that will show you all your ETH tokens as well as swap ETH as well as send offline if you want to, but you probably won't. But the cool piece is the piece is uh, the ENS where you can literally write your name .eth and then people when you want them to send you tokens, you say hey, uh, let's say your name is Bob Joe. Hey, send it to Bob Joe .eth. I think it's a pretty cool thing. Fat kiddo, fat fat kiddo, fat kiddo, huge fat kid.